What's happening guys, it's Matt Pinella. Today, we're gonna to be talking about five tips and tricks for installing board and bat siding. Let's get started. All right guys, so siding is one of those things that it may look good from the road out there, but when you get up close to it and start looking at all the details, you're gonna see all the little flaws. You want your siding to come out perfect. With that being said, trick number one is prefabbing your corners. We do this every single time, no exception. This corner right here, we prefabbed, blasted these two pieces of trim together, and then put it up on our corner. If you don't prefab, what you're gonna end up fighting is you'll put this front piece of trim on here, and then when you go to put the side in, you're gonna fight it the whole entire time because it may not line up perfect. You may have a reveal here, and you may be flush down here. It's never fun. Prefab your corners, first start to good siding. So the way we prefab these things, we prefab all of them long. Put it up on your corner and mark along your siding there. That way you end up with a perfect corner every single time. It's flush to the bottom of our sheet, we're solid. All right guys, so trick number two is using a control line. You'll see a red line snapped at 24 on every single sheet on this home. The reason for that is before we go to do our siding, we'll shoot with a laser 23 inches all the way around this place. Now what that does is make sure that our sheets hang down just an inch. When we slap up our sheets, all we have to do is put it right to that 24 line and we're set. It'll hang you down that one inch that you need and comes out money every time. All right guys, so tip number three. This is something that a lot of guys do differently laying out your bats. The way we do it, we'll get our first bat, plumb up your first one, blast it all the way down, pull your 16 layouts off the top of that one, blast each of those bats up, and then run down, holding your tape, and blast all those off as well. It's a very efficient method. If you haven't tried it, I highly suggest it. All right, tip and trick number four, and this is a useful one, calculating your bats. Say you've got a guy that's not accurate with pulling a tape measure. I know we've all had them. Um, I've been him myself, but all you need is one number. For example, say that bat there is 110 to your long point. Now, this is a six and 12 behind me. Do the math, um, comes out to an eight inch difference in between each bat. So if you have 110, the next one up is gonna be 118 to long point. If you can calculate your bats and keep cutting ahead of people, it'll save you a lot of time. Time is money. All you need though is that first bat number. 110, 118, 126, 134, Keep on going. Once you have that first bat number, you can cut a few more, toss them up, double check your number once again. You do not wanna cut 10 bats and then none of them work out. But calculating your bats is gonna save you a hell of a lot of time when it comes to throwing up this siding. If you don't know how to do the math or say you don't want to, uh, there are plenty of calculators. You can get a construction calculator. DeWalt has a really nice phone app. Uh, you can download that in the iOS store. I'll have a link down in the description below. You can check that out. That is what I use. Um, there are plenty of options out there. Real simple to just do the math and you could think ahead of someone else. All right guys, so our fifth and final tip, line up your bats. If you are standing 300 feet that way, looking dead on into this entryway here, first thing you're gonna notice is those bats right there line up perfectly on that door. Always pull layout the same inside there as you would outside here. We do this 100% of the time all the way around the house. If they're siding inside or up above, Guaranteed, it's gonna match. Let's go walk this place and see how many places there are lined up bats. All right, so our first spot wasn't even 10 feet from where I was just standing. As you can see, this little dormer style pop out here, lines straight up with the bottom of the garage. If I were to have pulled that layout just 16 off of that corner, these bats would not have matched up. It wouldn't have looked as good. I hope these five tips and tricks are useful to you. If you already know them, that's great. You're probably good at siding. If you didn't, I hope you learned something. I gotta get back to this place, finish up just a few spots, but that's all we got time for, guys. If you have any questions about how to install siding, what guns to use, anything like that, or wanna see something like that, please let me know. I also just wanted to say Happy New Year. 2019 is going to be awesome. You guys have no clue what's in store yet, but there is a lot coming. Look forward to a ton of awesome giveaways. Giveaways not only on YouTube, but on Instagram as well. I'm working with a lot of amazing people that are gonna help make this happen. Final Framing is definitely one of them. If you haven't seen their work yet, 
go on Instagram, type in at Final Framing, you'll find this company here. They are framing some of the biggest monsters in Texas, 600,000 square feet. That is huge. But that's all we got time for today though, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I have a ton of awesome content coming out in 2019. You don't want to miss it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video.